Big Boy's Big neighborhood. Boy. Wyclef is in the neighborhood, yes, man. Sir. Now, Wyclef, uh, you're you're in a group tight quarters. You're always kind of working. You say you're spending twenty hours a day with Lauren Hill. At some point, you step the boundary. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Now. What did that do for that core of the group? Does Proz, does he blame you sometimes? Like, man, like, why I, you I'm just sure couldn't? he definitely blamed me. You know what I'm right. saying? You know, and if you go back to the old article, articles one time, you know, where Proz was like, yo, man, Clef was the cancer of the Fugees. You know wow. what I'm saying? Remember when he wow. said that? Yeah. Because it, it, at the it's time, true. you got to understand his frustration, though. You feel me? It was more like, yo, you know. Like, you know, I really wanted this thing to work and, you know, like you shouldn't have messed with the girl. Matter of fact, didn't I warn you about messing with the girl? Right. You know, and um, fully looking back then, you know, like now as a man and looking back, definitely, you know, take take blame in the sense of having fell for um, for Lauren at the time. Mm-hmm. But, you know, in my in my form of artistry and and. A lot of times, like, we read these stories and we go read, uh, whether if it's, like, Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell mm-hmm. or even go back to the days of Rome with or mythology with Zeus and whoever he fell for. We always think, like, nah, this ain't going to never happen to right. us. But what happens is until you actually sitting in the seat, like, you've seen it with the preacher and the, somebody in the congregation. You've seen it with the... The businessman and the secretary, right. like so. Arnold Schwarzenegger th- and the nanny. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, oh my gosh. so, 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 so. But it was important that I, I, I explained it in the sense of vulnerability, meaning like not as a feel sorry for me type of dude, mm-hmm. but as 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 human beings, you right. know, like at times, you know, we lust, and for me, it was not even lust at that time because it was spending too much time anyway you know so the you know in the book i describe at that time it was more of a muse type of relationship mm. because and what i mean by that it's sort of like you know what are you listening to i'm listening to bob marley you know what i'm saying and this is hey you know this is the vibe and what are you listening oh that's donny hathaway well, who's that what was he? you know and this is how he riffing man that's some dope r&b stuff show me how to riff like that you know right. going to that so Teaching the, each other. Yeah, but it even got because we really was. It was like a real bond. Though. Yeah, it, it was, wasn't like I'm going to hit this and and bounce or. Yeah, it was, wasn't nah. just like a hookup. No, nah, no, nah, like it you was. Guys it was cared for each other. It was beyond. It was. It was really at one time. It was like. It was like, you know, brother sister in one sense, not in the incest sense. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Then, you know, the the the. If I was to put it like in a metaphor, it's almost like I was in heaven wow. and I was an angel. You feel me? And then God was like, yo, man, go to earth. And you see this woman here. She uh, do not fall in love with her. Hmm. You are supposed to help her through life with whatever she wants to accomplish, you know? And poof, he beams you to earth. You know what I'm saying? And man, a year later, man, you're like, God, man, I heard what you said, man. But <laughs> this human being looked too beautiful I'm to sorry. let that happen. Hey, Amen. And it had to be Crazy. even a little more difficult because at that time, you were in a serious relationship, right? And still are. Yeah, but definitely. So my, my I got married very young, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And one of the things for me was... Uh, who are you going who who are you going to marry so you have to make that decision you feel me so would you say you loved them both yes in in the song at the time mm-hmm. in the song the carnival now everyone could go back and do their homework and pay close attention oh, cuz once the book come out you know now people is like but i've told y'all this <laughs> the, rec- the 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 album that y'all love so much the carnival you big boy <laughs> yes sir you see i want to <laughs> the, the, you tried the, to tell me. Yeah, the the song which um, refers to your chapter is a song called "To All the Girls I Loved Before." Right. Now, if you was to play that song right now, what you would do is it would clearly you'd be like, oh, "Okay, I understood that chapter at that time." To be bold enough, though, um, at the time on a carnival to um, to say, you know. I'm in love with two women. Who is it going to be now? Clearly, this is what I say in the lyric. Um, at that time, 
you know, that's sort of like how I felt. Did anyone pick up on that? Um, I think y'all was too busy listening right, to right, Gone right, to right. November. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> we got White Clef in the neighborhood, big boy big neighborhood. Boy.